Hey, welcome to Davida's Stampin' Spot. It's Monday at eight o'clock. I hope you've had an awesome Monday and you're ready for a fun project tonight. For those of you that are watching, make sure that you post a comment down below this video so that I know you're watching live. And all of you that post will be in a drawing for a free gift from me. All right, I'm trying to see if I'm on. If you can see me, give me a comment down below so I know. Ah, there we go. All right, looks like we are on, I think. Never fails when I think I've got it all going right, then I don't. Let's see here. I had an amazing weekend. I have to tell you, I went to um, Wichita to a meeting with some of the demonstrators in the Wichita area. And it was a fabulous meeting. Learned a lot, got some awesome ideas. I'm sharing one of those ideas with you tonight. And uh, Amy Walker shared this idea that she got from another demonstrator, and I'll post her name. See if it's oh, from the Paper Pixie was the one that she got the idea from. Um, so I am going to quick switch this around so that you guys can see my work screen, and we'll get started. Right. Get my camera out of the way. My lighting system got messed up, and so I'm trying to figure out a way to get everything back the way it was. So we're going to try this tonight and see how this works. All right, so Amy shared this awesome project. So here is the gift pouch. Opens like this, and then it has some cards inside. Isn't that fun? And I have to admit, it used to be that when I would see something like this, I would go, yeah, great idea. I'm not going to give that a try. But it is so much easier than I thought. I know I say that every week, but I think this is an awesome project that you guys can repeat many times over. And the nice thing is that the designer series papers, 13 packages of them are on sale for 15% off. And I don't know if you saw my email today, but they have just announced free shipping this Wednesday, the 21st, on orders of $75 or more. So you can get the designer series paper at 15% off, then save the shipping costs. So it's an awesome deal. All right. So I'm starting with a sheet of 12 by 12 designer series paper. This is from the Fresh as a Daisy bundle. And here's what the back side looks like. We're going to concentrate on the front side. So I'm going to start with the 12 by 12 paper in my paper score. And I'm going to score at three and nine. Then we're going to turn it one turn. And I'm going to score it at four and a half, five and a half and 10. All right, so now this is going to be hard to see. Let me see if it's better on this side. A little bit, you can see there's a line down here, a line down here. It makes two small rectangles up here. And those two small rectangles, I'm going to cut off with my scissors. So when you look at this, I'm going to see if I can fold this a little bit so you can see. You have to remember that when you are scoring designer series paper, you need to be very gentle with it. It is not as thick as our cardstock, and so it will tear if you're not careful. All right, trying to do this, not so much that I need the score lines right now, but so that you can see what I'm doing. All right, here we go. Are. So I thought this idea was really fun. And my good friend Diana 
showed me an awesome project she made with the same idea, but with smaller little packages. So I'm gonna have to show you that sometime as well. I'm just gonna grab that while I was downstairs and I didn't grab it. I won't be able to show you this week. I don't know if that's gonna help you see, but there are two smaller rectangles here. I've got four identical rectangles here and then a bigger one in the middle on each side. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out these smaller rectangles. So you could, of course, use your paper trimmer if you want. I'm just going to use my scissors and cut out these little rectangles. I'm going to put my score away, and I shouldn't. I need one more score. This is going to be the um, flap. So I'm cutting off so I have a flap at the top. So if you struggle with cutting a nice straight line, you may want to use your paste paper trimmer. I'm going to put it back in here. So we did this at 10, and then I'm going to come down on the flap and do 10 and a half. And at the meeting, Shelly shared a great idea. She said that when you're scoring, if you have a habit of holding your stylus up like this, and it seems to jump out of the um, tray a lot, she suggested holding it more at an angle. And I have to admit, I've tried that the last couple of days and it does seem to work better. So if that's something you struggle with, you might give it a try, just angle it so it's, not quite so straight up and down like you would a pencil. All right, so now we've got our outside like this. And I'm going to just burnish these lines just a little bit. So I do have a workshop order going in. I had told some people it was going to go in today, but after I heard about the free shipping, I'm going to hold off until Wednesday so that we get the free shipping. Um, so if you need to add to an order, if you don't have $75 that you can do right now, uh, bring me your order and I will add it to mine. All right. So if we look here, we've got these corners right here. You see that right there on the edges? This is going to be the bottom of our, my gift pouch. So I'm going to take, open this back up. I'm going to put my bone folder right where that crease is, right there. And then I'm going to bring this edge over and line it up so that it's straight with the designer series paper. And then I'm just going to crease it with my finger, okay? And we are going to do that four times. So we'll put the bone folder right here. And we're going to bring this. I always have trouble going the opposite way. I always have to kind of think about it a second. You guys ever do that? All right. So I have it here and I'm going to hold this down. I've only done this a couple times. Okay. So I went like that. So this one is going to go. Here's my spot. We're going to take it down this way. Get my arm out of the way so you guys can see. We're going to line that score line up with the outside score line and then crease it. So see, we made this little pouch like that. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So tomorrow, I am so excited, is my first kit and cup event at the coffee shop here in Bonner. If you have an RSVP, you still have till 10 o'clock tonight. And if you do it by 10 o'clock tonight, I am going to have a gift for you. If you find out tomorrow at 930 that you can join us, join us, please. I just want this to be a time of fun chatting and crafting together. I'll have a lot of kits available. So if you don't have, um, so come get a kit from me and we'll craft together. We're going to do about two hours. All right, isn't that cool? Look at that. From one sheet of paper. 
Now I do want to glue it down a little bit because you don't want it open and flopping like this when you're giving it to somebody. So there's two different ways you can do it. The instructions Amy gave us were to fill in this top triangle. If you reach out to me, I will send you a pattern for this. So you've got the layout. Be happy to do that for people. I will probably attach it to uh, any requests that people have. I don't know. I'll send it. All right. So see, we're going to have it. Kind of reminds me of like the boards, the hats for graduation. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. All right. So I'm going to glue down the four sides here. Did you guys notice my glue is actually working tonight? The only problem with this project is kind of hard for you to see what I'm doing. But see, we're just gluing it down like that. So when we were in Wichita and I was doing mine, the first time, well, the only time I made it in Wichita, I actually glued it in the wrong spot. And I'm going to show you how that looks because then you can choose which way you want it to look. So the original design is like this. So then we have this pocket and this comes over and I'm going to show you how to attach it here in a minute. When I made mine, oh, I forgot to bring it in here. I had glued down this piece here, this square, uh, triangle, I know my shapes, this triangle, to that, so it made it like it was just a rectangle. So if you don't want it to have kind of that open mouth idea, go ahead and attach all four triangles to the board, and then you're just going to have a rectangle shape like that in there, okay? All right. Checking to see who's made comments. So you're in the drawing. And nothing is showing up. Let's see who's made comments. Oh, there we go. Oh, good. Lois, Marilyn, you're on. Good deal. All right. Well, we got two in the drawing so far. All right. So you want this to close. And to do that, where did I put my. I just grabbed some of my, uh, my Velcro. Here we go. I used something else earlier today and I'll show you that with that. I just got them at one of the retail stores, just some Velcro to hold it in place like that. And then I carried it back in here. Um, I hurt my leg and they want me to keep it propped up with ice on it. So I can't do that here at my desk. So I was out at the kitchen table and I thought I brought the Velcro in. Well, I guess we'll just use this Velcro instead. All right, um, I'll show you how I attached the Velcro. And then she gave one idea for a way to um, make the cards, which is similar to a class that I offered in April, but never got to hold. And so Lois, you're one of them that's still waiting on me to hold that class. Um, and I thought, well, that was a good idea. But then I also liked the idea of using some of the patterns that I used for the DSP class last week. So I'll show you what I came up with. All right. So I, I put both sides of the Velcro on there. And what I'm going to do is just fold this over nicely and it's going to attach that velcro so that they line up nicely and it'll open and close okay so this paper has garden green crushed curry the new uh, lemon lolly in it and i wanted to use those colors for my cards so i'm going to show you the cards that i made these are the ones i made today so I took these greetings. Um, I don't know if you've seen the, well, I know you've seen it because I've used it several times, but I don't know if you've used it at my classes or not. It's this good feelings. I love this because there's nice big greetings. So I used the you're on my mind and I did a strip of the four. Well, I'll show you how I did that in a minute. And flowers there, sending sunshine and good feelings your way. 
Then I did a triangle here for a thank you card. And here's another thank you card as well. So I think this is an awesome gift. All I need to do now is add some envelopes and I'll be able to give someone a really nice gift of a pouch as well as some cards. So on the flap, I used the Countryside in shapes. Oh, I love these. And um, I thought I would go ahead and stamp it ahead of time. I was afraid showing how to make the pouch would take too long. Um, so what I did was I stamped this daisy. Fresh as a daisy set is awesome because it's got an outside image and then it's got the filling for two different sizes. Then it's got the, in, the centers and then it's got this half flower as well. And I'm really enjoying using it and it goes so well with the paper. I'm gonna take that back up. And you know, with me, if I'm going to use something that's gonna get a lot of wear and tear, I like to use my tear tape. So I'm going to put tear tape on the top. And then I always worry about tape going where I don't want it. So I'm going to put it on the bottom of the flap here. And if you put your tear tape on and it doesn't want to separate for you, just run your bone folder across it and it'll help it separate. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this because I kind of want to figure out the spacing. So we'll bring it down about like that and put it together. All right, isn't that cool? So now all I need to do are the cards. Let me show you those real quick. I made two bases that were the lemon lolly, two lemon lolly and two crushed curry. And then I took another sheet of the designer series paper and I cut it into four by five and a fourth sections. And I wanted different shape. So what I did with the first one is I put it in here and I just went from point to point. And Lois and Marilyn, you're both going, oh, we did that last week. And you're right, you did. So there's two of my pieces. For the next one, there are several options. Uh, one of them that we did was uh, two and a half by three and a half. And that was, show you here. This piece here, that's the two and a half, or two and a half, and then the one and a half. So see how that gives it just a little bit different look. This one here, I thought it would be fun to, well, I, let's see, I cut them for you already. So what I did on this one was I put it in my trimmer like this, and on the side closest to me, let me get it so you can see, on the side closest to me, I put the edge of the paper down at two, and I put a dot on it. And then I slid this to three and a half. Oh, I did three and a fourth. And I put a dot there. And then I just put it in my tray and cut it like that. Another fun idea, and this is the one I'm going to do for you guys now, was I took three strips. If you take your designer series paper and cut it four, 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 then you've got strips that are the exact right um, size for the front of your card. All right, I'm gonna fold this in half. And then I'm going to add these strips. This was one of the favorites at class the other day. And so see how neat that looks? And then all I need to do is, uh, I'll probably use a circles punches and do an oval greeting on that one. Isn't that pretty? So then another thing I wanted to show you is on two of those, you know, I had the triangle um, shape, this one here, and I decided I wanted a border. So this piece was four by five and a fourth. 
Let me quickly show you how I made that border. So I'm going to cut this at five and a half. Then I'm going to turn it at four and a fourth. So that's the exact size of the front of my card. And then I'm make sure you angle it. The, uh, do your um, paper on the tray the exact same layout that you did your DSP. And then this makes an awesome border for you. So there you go. So this one would go again on the lemon lolly as well. And we've got one that will go this way on the front. Pull those off there. And this one will go the other way so that you have it framed really nicely with a mat. And then I did a couple greetings. So I did your in my, on my mind and in my heart. We'll go on that one. And this one will look like that. See how simple and easy the designer series paper makes your cards look nice. I know the gals the other night, they kept saying, well, these look great, but we feel like they need just a little something more. And in that class, we made 14 cards in a couple hours. So we didn't add a lot of bling. I told them they could go home and add the bling later. And I'm hoping they will all show me <laughs> yeah, Marilyn, I, I'm slow, but I finally answered your question, didn't I? Yeah, uh, dimensions of the space. Yep, normal card, size cards fit. So this one here, we could do like that. And you can just stamp something here, or you could um, add some layers. And again, I did a lot of layers with mine. I told you that, now I lost my cards. Ah, oh, there they are. I'm gonna go back again now that I've kind of showed you. This one here, I just added the DSP and then that greeting on the front. I use dimensionals to pop it up. I can go back and add some ribbon. I can add some bling, but I got these cards made very quickly. So there you go, that'll fit right on the front with your thank you. And then here's your angle from the other side. And this one, I just stamped it directly on there. And I think that looks nice too. So I will be able to give this to someone. Put it right in there. I'll just have to put stamp a daisy on my envelopes because you know we don't send naked envelopes. And I have a wonderful gift to give to somebody. Isn't that awesome? I want to thank Amy for sharing this idea with me. They shared some great ideas. I've got a lot of fun things that I can't wait to show you in the next few weeks. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this tonight. I will be on next Monday. Don't forget free shipping on Wednesday this week. If you don't have a $75 order, uh, let me know. I can add yours to mine if you want. And we'll put them all together on a workshop order. And... Uh, Kits and Cup tomorrow at 10 a.m. at 10 and 2 Coffee Bar in Bonner Springs. And then on Wednesday night at 7 as well. Oh, I think it's a wonderful gift too. I would love to get a gift like this where someone's made the cards for me. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Thanks to those of you that commented as I was working along. Have a great Monday. And I'll, if I don't stamp with you this week at Kits and Cup, I'll see you next Monday.